Next time you make a video DVD or Blu-ray disc, test it out first with a disc image rather than burning a disc. You'll save time and money. To make a disc image, first launch My DVD from the Video Movies tab on the Roxio home screen. Then open your disc project if it's not open already. I'm almost done with this project and I'd like to see how it looks. I've used the preview mode up to now to test it, but preview can't show the full renderings in real time. For a full test, I need to encode the disk. I could go ahead and burn it, but I'll choose to make a virtual disk image instead by unchecking the Burned Disk option and checking the Save Disk Image file box instead. I'll also give it a name. Now I'll click the Burn button to save the DVD image to my hard disk. After encoding, my disk image will appear in the Videos folder with the suffix ISO. Now I need to mount the image so that I can play it. To do that, I'll open the disk image loader from the Tools menu. If you've never loaded a disk image before, you'll get the option to search your drive for available images and add them to the database. Here's the list with my disk image in it. Now I need to create an emulated DV drive on which to mount, so I'll click New and assign the virtual drive to the next drive letter. Finally, I'll select my disk image and click the Load button. The DVD will open using my default DVD player, which is Roxio CinePlayer. In CinePlayer I can completely test all the functions of my disk image, just as if it were a physical disk. When I'm done, I can inject the disc just like a real one. My disc looks great, so I'll go ahead and burn it from the image file I just created and tested. I'll also keep the image file so that I can quickly burn more copies later. If the test image had been bad, I could have gone back to my DVD to edit the project and create a new disc image with no wasted DVDs.